Hey guys, this is my first video on Yaosh Recruit, and the topic I'm going to be going over and going more in depth about is the bloodthirsty metals. But first of all, before I do so, a little bit about myself, since this is my first video on this channel. I am a high schooler who likes to make YouTube videos in practically all my free time. And right there, I practically sum myself up in one sentence. But anyways, let's get into the topic. With bloodthirsty metals, a lot of my friends tend to ask me a lot. One, in the game, they get their bloodthirsty metals. They see them getting awarded to themselves. They have even shown me when they get awarded. Then when they get out of the game and go into their challenges, it's not awarded to them. So then they kind of get frustrated and wondering why. But what they think, they think you need to get five kills in a row in that same life. But really, you just need to get five kills in that entire life. They don't all need to be in a row, which is one thing a lot of people don't know. This game right here, it was in a private match, so I got them really easy. I get one kill with the PDW. I get another two kills right here with the PDW. Then the next kill I get with the TAC-45. Then I get a PDW kill again. That is my Bloodthirsty Medal, but it is not awarded to me until I get the next kill right there. So, you still you still get them awarded to you in the challenges, even though they are not five kills in a row. It's still five kills in that same life. Which, knowing that is one thing that will, if you remember about it, it will increase your game a lot when you're trying to get gold guns but one tip I can tell you guys is if you're using a sniper and you have some form of pistol or some form of secondary in general and there's somebody coming up the stairs or you're trying to go into a building and you know you won't kill the people up close and you're hoping you'll get lucky and be able to get somewhere where you can snipe what you can do pull out your secondary and go up into that room you could try to kill them and if you don't then you just need to try again but hopefully you will kill them and that will not end your f bloodthirsty streak that you're trying to go for all it will do is hopefully get you in a better position to then get that bloodthirsty streak and if you're close to a kill streak and say you have a better secondary than your primary or you picked up a gun go ahead and use that other gun to get that kill streak and then you can switch right back over and use that gun and still carry on your kill streak and therefore with all this being said and this tip and more about the bloodthirsty I hope it will help you get gold guns better and now that you know all this comment rate subscribe my channel link should be down in the description and thanks for watching I'm out